Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Jared and I'm from Tent Board up in Townsville. Today I'm going to be showing you the put up and pack down process for the Dachi XL100 stretcher bed. Now this stretcher bed is very simple, it's much like the other stretchers we have here in store. Um, but there are a few little tips and tricks that you can obviously do to help put up that stretcher a little bit easier. So first of all, take the support poles out and then take the bed itself out of the bag. Now as it comes, it comes nice and compact in these bags. It comes with two Velcro tabs on them. One up the top, one up the bottom, so we'll undo those first. Now what I like to do, undo one side, pull the middle up, so you have an, essentially an upside down T-shape. Now that means that this is now the middle of your stretcher bed. Now simply pull these two parts out, like so, and then flick your stretcher out like that. Making sure that your polyester is nice and straight in the middle, so it might have to straighten that one up a bit. That way when you put your support poles in, it doesn't stretch to one side more than the other. Now with these support poles, it is essential that you do the right end of the, in the right order. Um, you do have to put the head end in first. Simply get the pole, slide it through the polyester sleeve, and then once it pops out, line these two up, click it into place. Now if you do forget which end goes first, it does have a nice little uh, image of a footprint down at the bottom end here so that it tells you to put the foot end in last. Once you've done that, you've got yourself a nice sturdy stretcher. This stretcher has a 600 denier polyester fabric with a PVC laminate on the other side essentially helping reduce the amount of splashback say if you have any water or dirt or mud or anything like that. It has a steel alloy frame which is nice and strong, also stay, keeps it nice and light. This stretcher has 150 kilogram maximum capacity. Uh, it is nice and wide, it's 100 centimetres wide by 216 centimetres long and 50 centimetres high off the ground. So it isn't too low to be able to crawl out of bed in the morning. To put it down, simply it's the opposite the way that we just put it up. First of all, take off the foot supports. Then the head support. Tilt it on its side, push it down. Now this one, it is a little bit different. So I like to pull one side down close to the middle, flip the other end over. Repeat on the other side, pull that side in, pull the feet up because they do fold up backwards. Taking note of which side has the Velcro straps on, you want to put that side on the bottom when you roll it over to make it a little bit easier for strapping those back up. So then, all you have to do, simply strap the velcro up on one side, strap it up on the other side, and we're nearly there. Grab your poles in the bag. Now, I find it easier to have the bag with the zipper end being the open end on the side that has the two feet because I feel as though that the bag fits a little bit better that way but it's up to you really it should fit the same either way then all you got to do tuck the bed into there now they are nice and snug so don't freak out if you're getting a little bit tight but there should be plenty of room don't forget to put your poles in there simply sliding them down in the side there Zipping your bag up. And away you go. Now that one is compacting down to a nice little 114 centimetres by 18 centimetres and it's only 10 kilos so it's nice and light, easy to transport. You can pick one of these up from any of your local Tent World stores, our wonderful 14 locations, or shop online at tentworld.com.au.